Good morning and welcome to 7 at 7. So excited to have you guys with us. I'm Pastor Daniel. This is my amazing wife, Amanda. And this is sweet little Esther. <laughs> We're so glad you're here with us today. Hop in the chat, let us know you're there. Let us know if you have any praise reports or prayer requests. We'd love to pray with you or celebrate with you. Absolutely. Excited. We've got a word of confession. We have a word of encouragement, confession, and prayer. Sorry, I was a little bit backwards, but those are all coming up here in just a second. Uh, I'm excited. Oh, let's, there's a, <clears throat> a praise report to share with you guys before we dive into the word this morning. But I'm excited to, to dive into some thoughts on meditation today. Yeah, Tori told us that she's, he's praising God this morning because his wife had surgery yesterday to remove a mass from a dog bite almost two years ago and it went exactly like we prayed. Success, no drains, and great expecting of healing for this. So we are praising God with you, Trey. Yes, love getting to see God move. Um, well, <clears throat> as I said, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about meditation. The pastor's been talking about it the last two weeks. On Sunday, Josh 1.8 says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. I think that verse gets heard frequently, but for a lot of us, we look and go, cool, I'm supposed to meditate on it. What does that look like? How do I do that? And it's really easy for there to be a disconnect or we see like Middle Eastern meditation where they're just like humming and floating or something. And you're like, what, what is going on? But Bible meditation <clears throat> uh, it is different. It's not about what you, emptying your mind. It's about what you're filling your mind with. Yeah. And a lot of times people don't realize they're really good at meditating. In fact, a lot of times the people who tell me, I, I just don't know how to meditate on God's word, are the same people who tell me, I am struggling with worry and anxiety. And go, do you, do you realize that that's meditation? Do you realize that you've got something that you're replaying over and over in your mind? That you're taking a situation, that you're taking something and you're like going over going, well, here's what could happen. Or maybe it could be like this, but what if I do this? Then maybe it would be like that. And, yeah. and that scenario is played out a thousand times. You lay there in bed and you're just sitting here going, I wonder if I'm gonna keep my job. I wonder if, and you replay it, what you're doing is meditating. It's just, the problem is you're meditating on the possible negative outcomes, and so that's called worry. Yep. Um, when, when we get angry, okay, confession time. When I get angry, I have to not meditate on anger, because I've done that before, where you get frustrated with somebody, and so you just replay the situation over and over. In fact, sometimes you have the conversation with them a thousand times over in your head or you're like talk to somebody and you're like hey how'd it go and they're like oh yeah and they tell you about it you're like you said that to them they're like well no but that's what i've been thinking about saying to them <laughs> because they've been going over it over and over and it's and it, it does something inside of us but he goes stop just meditating on all of the things that can go wrong. Stop just meditating on how frustrated and angry he goes. When you begin to do that with God's word, it begins to produce life. See, our, our heart, our life is an overflow from our heart. Proverbs yeah. chapter 4, verse 23. And when we fill it and go, all right, God, what does your word say? And some people go, well, well like worry just kind of comes to me. Anger tries to overwhelm me, but God's word doesn't... Uh, automatically occur. And this is true in most things in life. If you want something good, it takes a little bit more effort. Yeah. It takes intentionality. And pastor went through some, some basics of going, well, where do you start? How do I start with some of this? And I loved, he said, you know, as you're reading, apply the word to yourself. And as a competitive individual, it is very easy to read my Bible to check it off a list. Yeah. But if I'll read it and go, okay, what does this look like for me? How do I apply this verse? Yeah. What lesson can I learn from this Bible character? What made them great? What made them fail? Because the Bible covers all of that. And when I begin to ask those and then go, how do I apply that? Then I can begin to meditate. I can begin to go over that over and over. He 
thoughts before I... Oh, that's so good. It's just so important to think about what we're thinking about. I remember hearing that phrase and being like, what? <laughs> but realizing that when I pause and don't just try to get stuff done through the day, but I really think about what I'm thinking about yep. and think about how, when I'm responding to my kids, was I thinking about Jesus when I was doing it? When I'm responding at work, am I thinking about Jesus when I'm doing it? Because when you have your mind set on the Lord, yeah. your response is different. Because True. whenever anybody says like, oh, if Jesus was there, I would. Well, he is there because you're there. Now the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. We are a temple of the Holy Spirit. So our response needs to reflect the fact that we know that. And sometimes we have to remember that. And the more we put God in the for mm -hmm. forefront of our mind, the easier it is to respond with the thought in mind that Jesus is right here with me. And that a lot of times will change uh, our level of patience. <laughs> yep. And our wording choice as well. Yeah. So good. I love that as we as we go into it, as you read it, and if you're you're new to really getting into God's word, I want to encourage you to read it. And even just writing down, hey, here's what I noticed. Here's what stood out to me. Um, here's my questions. Here's how this can apply to me. If you'll do that, it does wonders for what you get out of it. And when we stop and go, let me think about what I just went over rather than just blasting through this section. Um, we're going, all right, no, that stood out. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to write that down. Then more comes. And then when we share it with somebody, it causes us to meditate on it. When we picture ourselves doing it, um, just like you picture yourself responding a lot of times not well, or we want to picture yourself knocking the person's teeth out and you're like, all right. Um, but when I picture myself going, all right, no, I'm going to pray for the sick. No, I'm going to respond with love. Oh, my marriage is going to. And I begin to apply that in my mind. It produces a desire and an action in my life. Yeah, so good. We have our confession. So repeat these after me, okay? I am made in the image of God. I am, I am made, made in the, in the image, of, image God. of God. I am loved by God. I am, I am loved, loved by, God. by God. My words are powerful. My, My words are powerful. powerful. My words will bring healing and life. My words My will bring words healing, healing and life. Good job. I speak words that bring encouragement. I speak words that bring encouragement. Words that bring encouragement. And strength to all who hear them. And strength, and strength to all who hear them. I am. I am quick to listen. I am quick, quick to, to listen. listen. Slow to speak. Slow, slow to, speak. to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow, slow to, to become be angry. angry. I am a light to the world. I am a light to the world. Shining with God's love Shining and grace. Shining with God's love God's and grace. grace. Whatever I speak or do. Whatever I speak or do. Or do. I do everything. I do everything. In the name of the Lord in Jesus. In the name of the Lord so Jesus. Jesus. God, I thank you for each of us, God, that we could be a light to those around us, that we can do everything for you. And God, I ask that your love and grace would shine through us, God, that your will be done in our lives. I speak healing into those that are broken, healing in their hearts, healing in their emotions, healing from their past, healing in their bodies. God, I speak strength and life that we can be made new, that we can see your kingdom come and your will be done. I speak restoration in those marriages, that forgiveness would flow, that you would give us your strength to respond with love and kindness and to see a change in our relationships. And we thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Be blessed, and we'll see you then. Bye.